Okay, climbing. You were saying before you got here that uh, like almost an ideal route would be between 20 and 25 meters. Fuck yeah, and it was power. exactly between 20 and 25 meters. Power endurance, had a hard section at the beginning and then the upper half was just continuously hard on small holds. That was exactly what I was looking for. It was amazing. <laughs> Alex Megos, I'm 23 years old and we are in Canada now in beautiful Banff, Banff National Park since uh, two weeks now and uh, we've seen six bears so far and we're just on our way to Raven's Crack to try an open project over there bolted by Sonny Turner. <laughs> almost there, almost there. Still trying to enter Banff National Park now for 15 minutes. Hi there! Perfect. Thank you. You too. Bye. It's hard to compare, I would say, because um, I think the the thing that I would compare it to was um, first round, first minute. Not necessarily the moves or the holds or the steepness, but um, just the fact that it's got so many moves in a row, which are every move is hard, but none of the moves is just super hard, and the rest is okay. So basically the upper half of the route there is maybe 20 moves and all of them are really consistently hard so it's really hard to even chalk up or to clip and that was, that's what basically makes the route so interesting and hard as well. I think I stayed motivated because right away at the first day I could basically do all the moves and I felt it was possible so that's something that really motivates me. I know it's really hard but I know it's possible so that what keeps me motivated to work on it and um, after basically each day I could see progress and I knew okay I just I just have to keep on trying and eventually I'll do it and that was that was motivating for me I think it took me five days so the crux was in the middle I figured out a, a sequence for the crux which had a a very slow pick Gaston crimp so when I would come from the bottom you know my ass would be uh, quite a bit out and then I would just not do the move kept on falling there for two days I think and then I thought fuck I have to look at that section again and try to maybe change the beta and then it took me uh, the whole day to figure out a new sequence and as soon as I figured that out and did the move once I knew okay that's a new sequence that felt so much better so I still kept on falling there close to 10 times probably. There's not many routes where I've fallen over that many times, so it's definitely one of the hardest routes I've done so far.
How'd that feel? <laughs> that wind was amazing, huh? Oh God, thank God. <laughs> so what happened there when you were at the rest? Did you feel it pick up? Yeah, I felt the wind, that was really good. <laughs> and I started thinking, I don't know. I started thinking, fuck. I could end this right now, I just have to climb to the top. <laughs> I, saw you, I saw you almost on the undercling, like... Fuck yeah! <laughs> Just falling out. Do you have any blood? I've got blood for you. Here you go. Fuck!